calculus is the math of change. Arithmetic adds, algebra solves, geometry measures. What the heck does calculus do? Well, it tracks motion, it tracks growth, it tracks decay. Things that never stay still. The word comes from Latin calculus. It means small stone. Ancient people used stones to count. By the 1600s, scientists like Galileo studying falling bodies and Kepler mapping planetary orbits, they had pushed existing math to its limits, and they needed something new. Two men delivered it. Isaac Newton in England and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz in Germany. They both developed calculus in the late 1600s. Newton used it to explain gravity and planetary motion. Leibniz gave us notation, and that is still used today. The long S-shaped integral sign and the letter lowercase d for change. Their battle over credit divided European mathematicians for generations. Calculus has two main branches. Differential calculus measures change, like slope, speed, and acceleration. A car's speedometer is showing a derivative, the rate of change of distance with respect to time. Integral calculus reverses the process, adding up infinitely small parts to find a whole. That's how we measure the area under a curve, the water filling a reservoir, or the fuel a rocket consumes over time. The engine behind both branches is the idea of limits. Slice a problem into smaller and smaller steps. Let the number of steps go to infinity. Suddenly, the impossible becomes solvable. Tangent lines, they emerge. Infinite series, they add up, and the motion of the universe can finally be measured. Today, calculus, it runs everything. Engineers use it to design bridges and skyscrapers. Physicists use it to chart orbits, waves, and energy. Doctors use it to map blood flow. Economists track markets. GPS satellites correct their clocks with it. And without calculus, no modern science, no skyscrapers, no space travel, no cell phones would exist. It's the hidden language of science, born from the counting of stones, refined by rivals, but still the key to understanding how the universe moves. These are interesting things with J.C.